Hi, my name is Jenna Herzog. I'm a junior chemical engineering student at Lafayette College. And my name is Rebecca Fodio. I study mechanical engineering and music, and I'm a senior. We work with Professor Rohan Prabhu in the KID Lab, which stands for Knowledge and Individual Differences in Design. More about the lab is available on the lab website linked in, on the poster. We are motivated by the accelerating depletion of natural resources in our world, which we believe necessitates the design of environmentally sustainable engineering solutions. To meet this need, designers must actively incorporate environmental impact considerations in their design decisions. Prior research suggests that the effects of climate change are often perceived to be psychologically distant, and this distance can inhibit individuals from actively engaging in environmentally sustainable behavior. Furthermore, research suggests that empathy development could be an effective mechanism for bridging psychological distance. However, little research has assessed the utility of problem framing on empathy and psychological distance in sustainable engineering design practice and education. Thus, our aim in this study is to explore student designers' perceptions of different problem formulations. Specifically, we tested the effects of variations in one, the, the social-spatial context, and two, the empathy focus of similar design problem. As a result, our two main research questions were, number one, how do the variations of the formulation of sustainable design problems relate to their perceived psychological distance? And number two, how do the variations of the formulation of sustainable design problems relate to their perceived empathy evoking nature? Psychological distance is defined as a separation between the self and external concepts and has been shown to compose four dimensions. One, temporal, two, spatial, three, social, and four, hypothetical. Similarly, trait empathy has been shown to comprise four characteristics, personal distress, empathetic concern, perspective taking, and fantasy. Based on these definitions, we formulated four variants of the similarly contextualized problem. These problem formulations varied based on two factors, the socio-spatial distance and the empathy-invoking nature. All four problem variants focused on providing access to clean water and sanitation and were presented in relation to sustainable development goal number six, clean water and sanitation. Two variant variations in the socio-spatial distance were created, one being a socio-spatial problem situated in Pennsylvania of the United States, and the second one being a socio-spatially far problem situation situated in northern India. Similarly, two variations of the empathy focus of the design problem were created. One was the empathy neutral problem without explicit persona, and two was an empathy invoking problem comprising, comprising an explicit persona. Each participant was randomly assigned one of the four problem variants and was asked to respond to a 14-item survey on a Likert-type scale of one being strongly disagree to six <clears throat> strongly agree. Examples of the survey items are like the seriousness of climate change effects is not as severe as presented in this problem statement and things like I can relate to the challenges that users experience in their everyday life. The effects of these variations on the perceived psychological distance and empathy evoking nature were tested through a two by two between subjects experiment. From the results, two key findings were taken. The first finding was that variations in the problem formulation did not relate to the participants perceived psychological distance. Specifically, the average perceived psychological distance of all problems was similar for all four problem formulations, and these scores were close to the scale center. Secondly, this finding could be attribu attributed to the use of an aggregated, aggregate psychological distance score for the four components. Future research must therefore investigate differences between the problem formulations along each dimension of psychological distance. The second key finding was that variations in the problem formulation did not relate to the perceived empathy evoking nature of the design problems. Specifically, we see that the average empathy evoking scores of the participants were high for all four problem statements. These research results suggest that 
Sustainable design tasks are perceived to be empathy evoking regardless of the social spatial distance from the user or the inclusion of a persona in the problem formulation. Taken together, our findings suggest that the design problem formulations used in our study are perceived similarly by novice designers. Why is this the case? One reason could be that the data analysis was an aggregated assessment of the of each of the survey items based items instead of evaluating based on each component of the survey individually, as well as the analysis was between psychological distance and empathy invoking nature was not accounted for. Additionally, for psychological distance, the only types which were varied were spatial and social distance. There could be a difference if temporal or hypothetical factors were varied as well. Furthermore, the problem variance focused on one issue relating to environmental sustainability, access to clean water. Here lies the potential that other global environmental issues could feel more relevant, impactful, or urgent to student designers. All of these reasons lead to future work, which is currently in progress. We plan on continuing our research and are excited to have this footwork and framework for how the relationship between psychological distance, empathy, and problem variance and how that compares to our hypothesis. We're also very appreciative of the support of our advisor, Dr. Moha Prabhu, and collaborators, Dr. Elizabeth Starkey and Dr. Mohammed Al-Sagar. Thank you very much.